guys welcome to Tektronix today we'll be learning about how to build and execute a simple Java application with the help of Gradle so we'll create a Java application using notepad we'll not be creating it using any IDE for now I'll do a separate tutorial on that later and then we'll try to build and execute this application using Gradle so some of the stuff I have already done. I have created this class hello griddle inside package demo and it is printing me hello griddle. Okay. Now I have also saved this class inside my griddle demo folder src main java demo package and here it is my hello griddle java file. Okay. So this is step number one that you need to do. Next thing is you need to install griddle on your system so go to gradle.org and then download the distribution of gradle and then set the path environment variable to the bin folder let me show you that as well i have already set the path environment variable let's see its values so here it is c users lenovo gradle 3.4.1 version i am using and you need to set the path environment variable value to the bin folder okay so just to make sure everything is fine you can just run griddle minus v which shows the version of griddle okay now what all tasks which griddle can do we have command griddle tasks okay so uh, all tasks enabled from the root project right now uh, will be running uh, the Gradle on our project so let's see what task it can perform on our project okay so cd slash let's go to our project tl project demo if i do a Gradle task now so it shows me it can do all these tasks on my project okay so second or the next step that we need to do is we need to create a class uh, not class i would say a dot gradle file we need to create a dot gradle file now gradle works on the concepts of plugins now plugins what they are used for they give more power to the gradle so if i add one plugin it now gradle will be able to do more sort of tasks so what we want in this application we want Gradle to have we want to add a java plugin to our application this is simple apply plugin colon and the name of the plugin now where do we need to save it inside our project so its name is let's say we keep it as build dot gradle Okay. so here we have build in a gradle, gradle file with the name build now uh, dot gradle folder how did it come when we do gradle tasks on our project folder then it created this dot gradle folder all right and it is containing file changes task history and stuff like that so we'll not be looking that right now so next step is let's try to see gradle tasks since now we have added the plugin so it says what all tasks it can do now so if you see gradle tasks it can assemble our project build build dependence and all the java related stuff it can do it can create documentation tasks java doc as well okay now let's try to build the project again using gradle build so it says i'm compiling and the build is successful so this is if you see now we have a build folder inside build we have three subfolders one is classes which is containing our hello gradle dot class then there is libs folder which is containing the executable jar of our project 
and then there is temp folder so if we see or if we want to learn build the project using gradle so then it's enough but we want to do something more as well all right so what we'll be doing uh or let's try to do a gradle run in order to run our application now it says build fail because uh what went wrong task run not found in root project okay so we want to run our application first we need to specify what is the main class main class name equal to our class is in demo package and it is hello grid okay then we need to have one more plugin which is application so application plugin basically it makes our project executable and what is the main class it's the hello grid now application plugin if you are adding to your project it by default adds the java plugin also so we remove that line we don't need it okay let's try to do a gradle build build successful now gradle run and you see the text hello gradle so this is how you can run an application with the help of gradle now our application is simple so far it is not using any third party libraries so let's try to add a library local time class let's say which brings me the local time new local time and uh, let's try to print the local time let's local time is and uh, add the import statement as well org dot joda dot time dot local time. Okay. Now let's try to do a gradle build. Of course, it should fail. Why? Because it is not able to find this dependency since we have not specified it as well. So now, how to add the dependencies? Now. Uh, for the dependencies that are in Maven repository, so you can go, you can get them using Maven Central. All right. So it will get the repositories from Maven Central. Then uh, you need to add the dependencies. And I want to say I want to add a compile time dependency which is Joda time group. Okay, my library is a dependency is Joda time, and let's say I want to use 2.2 version. I already know that 2.2 version exists. Okay, just to save and try to build the project again build successful all right so it uh, implicitly uh, obtained the dependency from the maven central repository and now you see there's a distributions folder as well that we have in our project which is giving us the winrar and winzip file the distributions then we have inside libs okay the executable jar then scripts windows batch file is there then there is one more file gradle demo which is for the other operating systems fine okay classes will as uh, will contain the dot class files all right so we have the dependencies uh, external dependencies added to our project and then we'll try we tried also to build it let's try to run it as well so run. it 
says the local time is this and hello baby all right so this is how you can add the dependencies to your project and then run it okay now there is one more thing that i would like you all to uh, i would like to tell you people that what is griddle wrapper now regarding the theoretical part of all these things you can refer to my blog now griddle wrapper is useful suppose someone is not having griddle installed on their system and they still want to uh, build the griddle project so we i have been provided with a griddle wrapper let's see what it does if we see now our project so what griddle wrapper has done for us it has created a folder griddle wrapper folder inside it and it gives us an executable jar griddle wrapper and a dot properties file griddle hyphen uh, properties uh, sorry griddle wrapper dot properties okay so what is the benefit of that that when you are uh, checking in your project in the svn or git whatever you are using then you can check these files as well so the other person they can build the project using gradle wrap okay now how to build the project using gradle wrapper you have gradle w and build command okay so if you run this command for the first time so it will implicitly download the latest distribution of riddle since i have already executed it so it is not downloading so riddle w build says that build is successful will w run says let's see it says local time is this and hello riddle build successful so griddle wrapper basically you will use when griddle is not installed on your machine or someone else's machine if it's not there okay so it will implicitly download the binaries and in subsequent build and running of the projects you will use those binaries okay so that's it about the griddle wrapper creating the project adding the external dependencies as well and uh, i hope now if you'll be able to create this project or create a simple project and then execute it with the help of gradle so thank you so much for watching this tutorial and i hope yeah you understood it <laughs> let me know your feedback your queries uh, please subscribe to the channel and do hit the like button if you like the video thank you so much